Cock that motherfucker back, kid. Everyone at one point in their life has to shit in a public place, whether it's a porta potty at a carnival, a school bathroom, um, the bathroom at a restaurant. I, I don't care. You're gonna have to shit in a public place one of these days. And if you're one of those people that holds in your shit because you're only comfortable with the toilet at your house, you're fucking weird and that's probably unhealthy. But anyway, so I always take shits in school. It's, I don't prefer it, I don't like doing it, but when you have to go, I go, and I don't like holding it in like some of my friends. Like, I'd be asking my friends, yo, do you shit in school? They'll say, no, that's disgusting and gross, and I agree with them, but if you have to go, you have to go. You don't postpone your shitting time because of how uncomfortable the situation may be. You go, because holding that in, that's not healthy. So this video goes a while back, and if you guys have seen the first video I posted about this, I don't have very good luck shitting in public places, whether it's people opening the door while I'm still in there, or people fiercely knocking when I'm gonna be out, or people just fucking around outside the stall. Like, no that, dude. like, I'd be shitting at school and people are just, like, vaping and fucking banging and playing music. Like, it's a fucking bathroom, man! So the way this bathroom is set up is there's two urinals, a sink to the right of both of them, and one giant stall. Now, the one giant stall is also a handicap stall. So you know me, I was probably in 5th grade or so, you know me, I asked the teacher, yo teach, can I go take a doo doo? Teacher says, okay, you can go. So I go to my bathroom, my little hall pass, probably fucking light up sketchers or crocs at the time, I really liked crocs in 5th grade, and I went and I plopped my little booty on the toilet. Now it wasn't long, I want to say it was about 5 or 6 minutes before I heard the door creak open again. And I'm like, okay, oh shit, because every time someone comes in the bathroom, especially in middle school, they like to fuck around and point out the person that's taking a shit. I knew something was up when I heard the door creak open and I didn't hear footsteps, but I heard the door close. So I look underneath the bathroom stall and I just see a set of wheels parked right in front of the door of this bathroom. And I'm like, oh shit. In my head, I was just thinking, why me? Why do I have to get this one in a million chance scenario that this actually happens? Like, I had a better feeling that I was going to get eaten by a bull shark in a public pond than to have a disabled kid wait outside the door to an able-bodied kid taking a shit in his designated bathroom. I felt horrible. At this point, I knew it was crunch time. I took off my fucking silly bands, I rested them on the head of the toilet, and I went to town. I wiped my ass so goddamn fast, Sonic would be jealous. It was horrible. My asshole was sandpaper by the time I was done. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that my speed of my hand rubbing my asshole would have generated enough power to fucking, I don't know, light up an Amish village. I, I don't even fucking know. I finally get done. I flush the toilet and I open up the bathroom door and the kid's sitting out there with the most disgusted look on his face. Now, I knew this kid before. He's been in all the grade levels that I've been in, just not necessarily my class, and he gave me the most disgusting look I've ever seen a disabled person make at me. After that awkward stare down for, I don't know, five to six seconds, I washed my hands, and I left. I went back to class, and I sat there, completely dismembered on the inside. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, drop a like. Feel free to sub if you want to see more content, and uh, follow my Instagram. I'll link it down in the bio. Peace out, guys. Thanks.